Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. And doing this video because um, I'm sitting here right now and my car is not starting. Really sucks. I went to IHOP and uh, got something to eat. Spent about 45 minutes there. I came back to my car and uh, nothing happens. Ready to go home. Nothing happens. I'm like, what the hell is going on with this? So, basically, I had a couple of these situations over the last two months. So I wasn't kind of really surprised by it. But those couple of times I was able to get my, my car started, um, this time around, I try to turn it on about 15 times and nothing happens. Which tells me there's a big issue at this point. Funny thing is... um. I changed my battery like about a week ago and I uh, was hoping that that issue I had, um, you know, was gone because of it. I thought maybe it was the battery. I took the battery to, uh, <clears throat> to drove my car to AutoZone and had them test up the battery and they told me it was fine. But I, t I changed it anyway. Um, got another uh, Walmart ba battery, put it in and uh, everything was working good until, until now. So... All right, so, I mean, is there a chance that I have a defective battery? Might be a chance I have a defective battery. So, I did turn on my lights, went out, checked it out. Guess what? All my lights look good. All my lights look good. But uh, I can't be 100% sure. I can't be 100% sure that it's not, it's, not, um, it's not my battery. So, I had to be like 100% sure. So, what I did was I asked a couple people for a jump I had jumper cables in my car and uh, it took a couple of tries asking people and uh, this guy helped me out I had cables once I put the cables on I tried turning it on it didn't work so basically what I did after that was you know I left the cables on for maybe like a couple of minutes try to start it I was hoping for like a slow crank or something like that nothing happened really disappointed all right so at that point I knew it was in the battery um, I checked out my terminals they were kind of dirty took the terminals off had a, a wrench set a little mini wrench set that I got from AutoZone for like 20 bucks um, and uh, took the terminals off cleaned it a little bit shook it a little bit hit a little bit of, of my wrench Got some of the uh, debris off, put it back on, went back to my car, tried to start. Nothing happens. So at that point, I knew it was not the battery, it's now the terminals because um, basically there's nothing else. I have like no other issues in my car except for that issue, like the car not turning over. Like everything else works, the, you know, everything on the dash works, the, um, everything else works. The radio works, blow motor works, everything else works except for that problem. So, Basically, I know it's 100% not the battery. And I don't even know if it was the battery last time, but it's definitely not the battery now. So I was thinking to myself, could it be the alternator? And um, I could rub out the alternator because basically um, the alternator will go out on you while the car is running, while the, while, while the engine's on. So there's a rare chance that the car would just absolutely die out on you at the exact spot the bat, you know, you know, when you park it with a dead battery because the alternator is not charging it. But here's the test for the alternator. Now, um, if you didn't know, once you put cables onto the battery to jump it, if it was the alternator, your car would have turned on or at least cranked on, turned on and, and, and you know kept on running as long as you have cables on it. Once you take the cables off, the car would just die out. That's not the case here. Unfortunately, it's not the case here. <clears throat> so I was thinking to myself, okay, so what's the, uh, what's the issue here? Not the alternator, not the battery. I was looking at the ground wire. Maybe it was the weak ground wire. Maybe a broken ground wire. I'm not quite sure. I don't think so, but I checked it anyway. Seems fine. Ground seems fine. I pulled on the negative a little bit. It's connected to it. Uh, it was a little bit dirty, but I didn't actually go too much in depth into cleaning it or anything like that. I assume that's not the case. Okay, so we can rule all that stuff out. What else? So I took the fuse box cover off. I'm like, 
Okay. Try to find the starter relay. Now, um, I'm pretty sure it's not the starter relay considering that I hear a click every time I try to turn the car on. <clears throat> so I'm like, can't be the starter relay. You know, every time I, I try to turn the car on, uh, I hear a click. I don't hear anything else. I hear a click. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, okay. All right, I gotta make a hundred. I gotta make it a hundred percent sure that it's not the relay. Uh, that's the problem. So I actually just swapped out the relay on it. I got pulled the relay from another for another thing in the car. It's got it's it's the same relay, similar relay with with the same watch and everything. Pop, popped it in. Nothing, 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 nothing happens. So basically, you know that click that you hear. Normally, that's that's the uh, click you hear when uh, the the solenoid the starter is going off. Like uh, it's getting electricity to the the starter, but it, the the motor's not running. So you know, normally the relay, what happens with the relay it is, um, you know, the the electricity goes to the relay, goes to the the starter. Now the re relay was, if I had issues with the relay, uh, I wouldn't have heard that click. Okay, okay, moving on, moving on. So not that problem. The fuses. Basically, I was looking at the fuses, hoping that would be a fuse because, um, you know, AutoZone is like a couple blocks from here. Worst case scenario, I could just walk there, buy a couple of fuses, pop it in, and uh, I'll just drive back home. All right. So, I'm looking at the fuses, and uh, everything looks good. Nothing looks burnt or nothing like that. So, I mean, it'd be best if I had, like, um, one of these uh, fuse testers, but I, don't, I didn't have that with me. So... I was looking at the fuses and I was thinking to myself, I can't test it out. I mean, I can. Autosun's a couple, couple blocks away. I could probably just go there and get it, but I didn't think it was the fuses. The uh, reason why I didn't think it was the fuses is because of this. Um, all the times that I've had issues with fuses in my, in, my, in my car, not this car, the cars that I had previously, where the cars wouldn't start because of it, all those times, there were like two times where it affected my, my my car starting okay so i'm gonna tell you guys one of those times was i got no electricity in my car at all no electricity anywhere in the car none nothing right it's uh, it's like it, there was no battery in the car all right and uh i pretty much did some tests found out that the main fuse blew the main fuse was in the fuse box um and uh it actually connected uh the battery cable to the fuse box now that's not this that's not the situation here because i'm getting electricity i am getting electricity in the car i'm getting electricity in the car so that's not the case so next up is this now next up is this uh what else could it be um i'm going off off uh off tangent here but i you know, I, something came up like like the mass airflow sensor, but it can't be the mass airflow sensor because, I mean, I didn't actually test that out because <clears throat> normally if there's a mass airflow sensor issue, your car would actually crank. And uh, I didn't do it in this case. But anyway, let me go back to fuse. Um, second issue that I had with fuse was my car cranked, but it wouldn't crank over. I uh, did a bunch of tests and found out that it was the fuse that connected the, um, the fuel pump. The fuel pump fuse... Uh, blew and it cranked, but the, you know it wasn't working because no electricity was going through it. I don't know why it blew, but but that's not the case here because because um, this car is not cranking. So even if it was the the fuel pump fuse, I mean that's not what's causing the car not to crank at this point. And last but not least, the starter. I was thinking to myself, could it really be the starter? Because now I that would be my first guess because I've had starter issues before. But I actually changed the starter on this car like eight months ago. Had this same issues, changed the starter. Granted, it was a rebuilt starter. And I right now I'm thinking I am regretting getting the rebuilt starter instead of brand new starter. The brand new starter was 300 The rebuilt was 150 you know, I went I went cheap on it. I didn't go cheap on it, but three hundred dollars for a starter is expensive, and um, didn't get that. I got a rebuilt one, popped it in, and I had no issues up until like about a month ago. As far as starting is concerned, I had no issues. 
So that why that's why it, this is not you know it wasn't the first thing on my list as started as as far as trying to figure out what the issue is on on on, on this car as of right now. Um, so I I was thinking about maybe like doing a couple of tests like bumping bump the starter. Um, I didn't do that because I don't have a crowbar long enough to reach it. I have a wrench that's not going to reach it, so I didn't bump it. I if I had a wire, I would actually connect the positive cable from the battery to the uh, to the to the positive solenoid terminal on the solenoid. I don't have a wire for that, so I can't actually test that out. <clears throat> Um, if you guys don't know anything about rebuilt starters, I, I have this inkling that it's the starter that's the issue because um, with, with rebuilt starters, um, when they when they rebuild it, they only rebuild, they only fix like that one part that's broken. Like if you guys buy a rebuilt anything, a starter, or alternator, they only fix that one part that's broken. They don't actually fix any of the other parts on the car. On the car, I mean, on the part, they don't actually fix everything on it. So, so that one part that's broken, that's got zero mileage on it when you got it. Everything else got the same mileage when it broke down, which is kind of crazy because you know why would they do something like that? Apparently, it's not worth it for them to replace in all the parts, but they should replace all the main parts. But anyway, I'm just yapping, yapping, yapping. Uh, I'm actually waiting for. Triple A to get here. I was told being out of them to tow my car, and uh, I'm waiting for them to tow my car. So that man, it's a pain in the butt. This is like really, really a pain in the butt. I really wish this. Oh man, I, I'm gonna be like really te- peed. I'm be like really peed if uh, if it turns out to be the starter because now I'm gonna have to spend. Uh, I, I believe the starter uh, is warranted for a lifetime, I think. But that's not the point. I'm, I mean, they're going to have to spend some time spend some time working on it. Or I'm going to have to pay somebody to work on it, which really, really sucks. But but it's just the time that, that I'm taking out right now to for this whole entire situation. Regardless, uh, I'm going to keep you guys posted on this situation. Um, all right. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So here's what I did. <clears throat> here's what I did. I actually did some tests. I mean, I could figure out all the other stuff wasn't the issue, and uh, the main culprit was the starter. So that's where I paid. That's where you know my my attention was when I when when I got when the car got towed to my house. So basically, I got to the starter. I took a crowbar. Took a hammer actually, and, and 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 pretty much hammered it a couple of times. Uh, try to start it up. It actually started up once. Once, turn the car off. Tried it again. Didn't do anything. So I hammered it another time. Turned the car on. Didn't do anything. Hammered it another time. Slow crank. Nothing. <clears throat> hammered it another time. Nothing. Hammered another. I did that about five times. That with nothing. All right. So that's the test. But just to verify it, I actually did connect a wire from the battery from the battery terminal to the um to the to the positive solenoid terminal on the solenoid and 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 it did make a noise. Well, I think it did make a noise once. I think it actually uh, the little thing came out the 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 the, the teeth. I believe that's what it, that's what it was that I heard, but it didn't spin. Maybe, maybe that's the case. I don't know. Uh, I forgot, but I think maybe it did that. Uh, it didn't spin, so I knew for a fact that it was a starter. That was the problem. So I had to spend time taking it out. Went to AutoZone. Um, I could have gotten a three hundred dollars starter. Instead, uh, I chose another rebuilt starter from them because it was under warranty. I didn't. I didn't want to spend three hundred dollars. I really did not want to spend three hundred dollars on a part. You know, at this point, I'm actually replacing it twice. It's cost me uh, time right now. Time is money. It's cost me money. All right. It's a pain in the butt. Popped it in. Took me like an hour and a half, two hours to do it. Popped it in. And guess what? 
it starts right away. 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 Not an issue of it starting. <coughs> so right now, um, right now I'm sitting pretty with that. You know, I'm sitting pretty with that right now. But but this 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 situation should not be the case. And it really sucks that this is the situation that I had to go through. It really does suck because um you know I'm like they they should do a better job of repairing the you know when they rebuild it they should they should do a better job of 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 doing that it's just ridiculous. But um if you guys are still here, uh you know um please uh, if you guys have any comments at all I, I I wish I hope this helped you guys out if you guys have any comments um please leave a comment comment section please leave um a thumbs up if you guys want and uh please please subscribe guys all right but uh importantly if you guys have a comment um please leave a comment in the comment section all right guys all right take care